Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading. Um, I'm not putting dates on these. Uh, I received a download. Do not put dates on my readings because it is um, it is distracting viewers away from viewing a message that they need to hear because we're all at different points in our timeline. So what may be for Tuesday for me, it will be Thursday for you and you may not watch Tuesdays because you think that the day is done and gone. So um, if the title resonates with you, go with it. Um, watch them all. <laughs> whatever fits for you, take it. Whatever, don't leave it. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. That way you can see when all my videos come um, online. For those of you who have already subscribed, thank you for your support and uh, joining me on my spiritual journey. All right, here we go. First card for you guys is your situation that you're dealing with with another person. So you guys need what messages do our earth signs need to know? What do they get to know? What do they need to know? All right, your guys' first card out is the Chariot in Reverse. I'm going to tip it down so you can see your cards. Hopefully that's not too far down. All right, so um, you're dealing with a situation where you are completely stuck. There is no movement, no action, um, not knowing which direction to go in, so you're not going anywhere, or this is your person. Let's get one card of your energy or science. In card for Earth signs. Or nine. <laughs> Let's try that again. One card for our Earth signs. I guess I should have took the nine. I'm going to be here a little bit. One card for our Earth Signs Energy. This one wanted to flip. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, Earth Signs, you or your person, because the energy can be vice versa. Um, so put yourself on whatever side of the, um, the story you fit. But for the reading purposes, I'm going to refer to this side as you, the earth sign. You guys have up a block. You're guarded. You're not letting anybody in. You're not letting your feelings be felt from yourself. Um, for some of you, you're being very greedy, very stingy with money. Um, you could be hiding money from somebody. Um, for some of you, this is uh, not knowing where to invest your um your energy, so you're just holding on tight for a minute. You're just, you're just clammed up tight. You're not letting anybody in. The person you are dealing with is a star. They are in a beautiful time uh, right now. They are in their, they're in this healing energy. They're starting to feel like divine, like. I don't even know what the word is for that. It's like beauty, but it's not beauty. This person is in their own um, energetic um, ascension. There we go. Whew. They are raising to a higher level. They have already taken the chariot out of their situation and moved into the star. And that's what you need to do next. Um, Earth signs. You need to um, get out of this position of being stuck. Because the chariot does ride... Um, through the universe, through the stars to gain healing. Um, and that's what you need to do from some past hurts. Could be from childhood, um, could be from lives before, but there is some hurt here that needs to be healed. You also have the five of pentacles. So once again, childhood hurts here, but you're going to the four to the five. So you're going from, you're holding on tight to your money. You're being greedy, stingy with your time, your investments. Um, somebody could be holding money like, hiding money out of fear of lack, um, having a fear of this financial burden or this financial struggle. Um, that is why you're stuck. You're stuck in a situation due to finances. You, 
you're either saving money back for the time you do leave or you're holding on tight to what you have right now, refusing to let it go and move forward because you're worried about not having enough, not have, being stable financially. What's the block for? Oh, thank you. Okay, I don't know which way those flipped, but so we're going to put them back. Why or what is the block for or signs person from this coming together? So yeah, you're blocking this relationship because um, your fear of lack. Um, the person you're dealing with, their block to um, this relationship coming together is either you or them are needing some healing. Somebody has to take a step back and see the whole picture and um, somebody has a choice to make. Somebody is waiting for them to be chosen or they are waiting to choose. Um, I do feel like they are waiting for somebody to choose them because they're already in this time of healing. They've already healed with the star though. Divine timing is here. Um, that's the, Oh no, I hope that wasn't meant to be your card. It's the eight of swords. Um, let's get one more for the block on our earth sign side to equal out the energy. All right. Yeah, most definitely um, worried about finances, juggling. Um, look, at I mean, it's all pinnacles on this side. This side is all about feelings and thoughts and emotions and love. And this side is all about money. All about money. What is Spirit's advice for the earth sign? And I will go over the whole thing um, here at the end. Once all your cards are out, what's Spirit's advice for a science person? Wow. Let's get one more for our Earth sign to equal it out. They have four out of five major arcana, Earth signs. And your center card is major arcana. Um, huge. Bottom of the deck, devil. You are, whoever is on this side, They there is a huge fear, a, ho a huge codependency on finances with somebody. That's what's holding them back from moving forward. Wow. Yep, there is success if you would just look past this fear um, and a new beginning on the horizon for you. Okay, there's a lot of cards here. Holy smokes. Look at all this major arcana. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, Earth Signs, let's start this back from the beginning now that all your cards are out. Um, you or somebody that you are connected with, um, there is a need to move forward. There's a need to move on. Moving out of the situation. The tower has already fallen. There's already been hurt, betrayal, sadness within this connection. Um, the two of you um, are together for financial reasons. For one of you, um, the earth sign is what I'm picking up. Um, toxic codependencies on finances. Um, could be toxic thoughts, um, behaviors. But there is a need to get out of this. The chariot in reverse is a complete stop, a halt, um, due to any forward motion. Um, and your first card out in your energy that you're bringing to this relationship is this holding on tight to the finances. Don't want to leave this situation out of fear that you're going to have to give up some of your money. Going to have to give up something that you have earned. Um, your block to coming together with this person or with somebody or your block to finding success within this relationship is your fear of lack. You're worried about financial um, struggle. You're worried about not having a money, enough money. You're worried about having to give up what you feel is yours and struggling. So your other block is juggling of energy. You have to learn to go with the flow by you trying to stop this, by you trying to, Stop the flow of energy, stop the wheel, stop the wheel of or the, the dance of change by you doing what you can to not move this forward when it's being called to move forward. You're creating more um, energetic karma. You're creating what you are fearing and is going to be what what becomes of this if you don't allow things to move with the flow. Go with the waves. Don't fight the ocean, don't fight the waves, or you'll end up drowning. Not literally, people. Um, so those are your blocks. In Spirit's advice for you is the King of Swords. So get out of your thoughts. 
Uh, don't let the fear of moving forward. Don't let the fear of money stop you from moving forward in, in a direction that you are meant to go in because the chariot is meant to leave. Um, so when it's in reverse, you're stopping, you're stopping what is meant to happen. Um, so you're supposed to take a step back to reevaluate is where you're at really where you want to be. Is it where you feel you need to be? Is your inner voice telling you to be somewhere else? If it is, it's time to go. Um, it's time to take action. It's time to cut yourself out of the situation and exit the, um, this toxic energy. The, yeah. Spirit's last card of advice is it's time to move into your spiritual path. It's time to leave this emotionally draining, not satisfying situation that you are currently involved in where the only worry about the, between the two of you is about money and who's getting what. It's time to follow your heart and get into a, um, a path where you can find your spiritual center, where you can find your spiritual self. And, um, and move away from this toxic energy because when all you think, when you're in a relationship just because of money, because you don't want to give up your money, that is toxic. That is, um, not healthy and not the reason why you need to be in a relationship. So you need to cut yourself out of this situation, take action and move forward and find a more emotionally, um, healthy place because this relationship is unhealthy. Um, for this group of you. Now, the person you are dealing with, <clears throat> they are in this time of healing. They are not worried about earthly matters. They are worried about replenishing their mind, body, and soul. They're doing a beautiful job focusing on themselves and getting their own emotions right. Um, for me, when this comes out as the first card, it is also divine timing. So the stars are aligning just right for this chariot to ride into the star the card, the card of healing. This person is a little bit ahead of you, so you can follow them and they can help you heal because there is some need to take a step back um, for spirits or for this person's block. Uh, they need to heal from this broken heart and walk forward in their truth. They are in the card of healing though, so um, this won't be a block much longer. Uh, their second card of advice was to follow their heart and to make a decision. Um, so this can move forward. So this can, so the two of you can move on and be in where you're meant to be. Um, for some of you, you are an earth sign with an earth sign. One of you is in it for money and one of you wants to follow their heart, but don't have the courage to do it. So this person could have been the one that was betrayed. And they're only sticking around because they're worried about making it ends meet without this person. But this person is being, um, they're getting a wake up call from the universe because they have judgment, the stars and the lovers and the sun all in their spread. This is the universe. Every card that the universe has in this deck, every card the universe controls like, as far as, you know, this is a universal wake-up call. This is the universe giving you a second chance. This is the universe bringing you healing. This is the universe bringing the person you're meant to be with. This is the universe um, enlightening you, enlightening your path, and guiding you. So, I mean, all these cards from the universe, this wake-up call is coming. So, right now is divine timing. The stars are aligning. This person is in this time of healing. They have taken a step back, and they are almost out of that um, that resting time as we speak. They need to make a choice of whether or not to, or who they're going to pick. Um, in this time of reflection, it's going to become clear to them. The Ace of Swords will um, be the only sword taken out of the of this card with them, and they will walk on in their truth, choosing who they're meant to be with. Um, this is your true life partner. Um, the person that you're meant to spend the rest of your life with. Spirit's advice to you is judgment and the sun. This is wake up. Wake up and see the relationship you are in, earth signs. This is not a happy relationship. This is not love. This is a relationship due to convenience and finances. 
and you want love, you want passion, you want somebody that shares um, in your life, your dreams, your goals. The universe is giving you that wake up call. It is becoming quite clear to you. Um, you just got to take action now. The sun is going to illuminate your path. It's also going to um, illuminate some things that have happened between this relationship um, to help move it forward. But this person is having a huge, huge However long this takes, because they are all major arcana on their side, right down to the chariot. This person is the one that needs to move from the chariot into healing. They need to take a step back and look at what they're really doing. Do they really want this relationship where you're being used just for convenience and finances? It's time to choose the person that you truly love and follow your heart because it is blessed by the angels. The universe is here to wake you up and light your path for you because you haven't taken it thus far. You're taking too long to get out of this chariot card. So this side is having a huge mass awakening and the universe is, is going to shove you because the outcome is three more major arcana. Toxicity. Whew. Very heavy. Um, being together for finances is a toxic relationship. Being codependent on somebody for your finances um, is not healthy. Being together with somebody out of uh, convenience is also toxic. This is also... Um, toxic thoughts. Like you think I can never be happy. I can never have love. I might as well stay here. This is all I got. It's like those, that negative Nancy thinking, um, you have to break free from that and get in that chariot and move earth science, or you're going to miss the ship with all your blessings on it. It's being clarified with the moon. So one of you is keeping secrets, um, about this situation to uh, both of you could, this person is keeping the secret that they're only there for their finances. They don't really want their relationship. This one has another lover and they're not telling this one. So there's secrets on both sides and it's just, it's creating bad karma. It's creating um, negative situations and it's going to come back and backfire if, um, if you keep allowing this toxic energy around you. Um, there is a deep karmic bond here. There is a deep, um, a deep passion because the devil for me is also about deep passion. Like you have to have them when it's paired with the lovers. So, um, for, for some of you, it's toxic thoughts for others of you. There's a deep connection here. And especially when it's paired with the moon, cause this is deep romance and connected with the stars, the moon, we got the moon, the stars and the sun. This is a twin flame that you are in separation from. And it's time, it's divine timing to move into this. This is pole, This is opposites, yin and yang. This is the universe bringing in divine timing, aligning those stars. So the true, uh, the true lovers that are meant to be together can have a second opportunity. This is a huge reading, huge. Like I can't get over it. Like there's a lot of toxic energy here, um, and a lot of like not good things. But it's also an amazing energy because of all the major arcana that is going on. When you follow that deep passion, when you um, move forward and follow your heart, not letting anything stop you, the universe is going to step in and give you more than enough money, more than enough abundance, more than enough wealth in every area um, other than money, as well as a financial opportunity that's going to bless you very greatly. Um, this is the opportunity for big abundance, but you have to follow your heart. You have to move forward out of this chariot card and into that card of healing, taking a step back, reevaluating the situation. And this person needs to really think, is this money worth putting up with being, um, lied to, cheated on, deceived, being with somebody who I know they don't want to be with me, um, then it's time to cut yourself out of the situation, cut your losses and move forward. So you can find a relationship where there's love, where there's a meaningful, uh, existence to this relationship. Um, because this is not healthy. Eight major arcana out of 14. And then we got an ace. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. Big, big reading, Earth signs. So when you see this, this is meant for you to see. There is no date attached to it. So, um, but the time, whenever you see this, the time to take action is now. The time to take action was actually a long time ago, but the universe is here stepping in, giving you a second chance 
to allow those stars to um, get in line with um, the path that you're meant to take before you have to repeat the cycle all over again. All right, one card of guidance for our earth signs that goes along with this reading. One card of guidance, please, angels. Thank you. Someone else got these two cards too. It might have been earth or water, I'm not sure, or fire or water. But anyways, um, your uh, card is Vesta. Wow. Your household situation is improving either by you moving out or a healthy change when occupants move. So one of you has to leave the home in this situation, and your situation is going to uh, greatly improve. Let's see what the book says. It says, there's an undying flame within your soul. It's the light and seed that sparks your consciousness. Your outer world reflects your inner world. So take a look around. Does it reflect warmth? Are your, is it cold inside the four walls that you share a home with? This is easily rem remedied and an oh-so-important thing to do immediately. It's a simple task of using your imagination and following your heart to the place of its deepest soul. Uh, by warming up your inner world, your outer world will shine. It will also allow your inner flame to respond and meet to it. This increases your energy level, which automatically shifts outward appearances towards the better. Watch how these simple steps to recharge the flame within everyone in your household. This flame cleanses away the negative energy around you and brings in the new with vigor and irresi irresistible invitations. And I was just talking about this is your twin flame. Now they're saying to follow your heart to its soul and your flame will be brought to you. That's amazing. Various cards of this meeting is you are moving into a new home. A new person is moving in while someone else is moving out. There is an increased romance and harmony within your home when you allow your inner flame to ignite you with passion and clear the space in your home that needs to be removed. And then the bottom of your deck is divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your true heart's desire? And I'm going to go ahead and read that one too, just because I think this reading is so very important. It's crazy. If you listen to the sound of your heart and, and breath, you will recognize the ancient ry rhythms of your own internal drumming. This forever connects you to the mother of all creation and to the sound of the planet Earth. These rhythms can't be faked or forged. They are natural and eternal. What part of you are you trying to ignore? Your internal beat is trying to drum, and yet you are not listening to it. What part of you has been overly concerned with pleasing others to the detriment of hearing the sound of your own rhythm? Dear child, reach out and extend your arms to embrace your dreams. This is just a part of nature as the trees and animals and sunsets. Don't your dreams deserve some respect? Listen to them. My child, listen to your dreams. They activate the powerful eruption of passion into your life. Don't be afraid of your own passion or for it will propel you naturally and you will excite and invigorate you. When you dance to the rhythms of your life, you're truly alive in all ways, bringing in the people in your energetic space that dance to the same dream beat of your matching drum. Make sure you are doing what matches your true interest. Invest time and money in manifesting your dreams and give yourself permission to go for it or to leave a situation that no longer is bringing you passion. Make an honest assessment of how you spend your time. List your priorities. If you are not number one, you need to rewrite your list. Wow. That just exactly matched this reading to a T, or science. So please listen take action because you're about to miss the divine timing of getting into getting out of this toxic cycle. These are toxic cycles that you're going over and over and over with this person. Um, the two of you are, you keep doing the same thing over and over and you're about to miss the boat. You're about to miss that opportunity to take that chariot and ride it into the star card because this is divine timing. The stars are aligned in the order that the chariot can ride in and find this healing because the chariot leaves the tower the chariot then rides into the star for healing um so it's time to end these
toxic cycles that you're going through with this person. It's time to acknowledge your deep passion and, um, and let secrets out about how you truly feel. And when you end these cycles with this person and follow your heart and passion, it's going to lead you right to abundance in so many things. Earth signs, I hope you have a beautiful day. I send you all healing, love, light, and may you get the strength and courage to move forward um, and follow your dreams. God bless.